We can illustrate the decision making we discussed for TCP congestion control with an FSM. The process starts in a slow start state. In this state, as we discussed, CWND is increased by one MSS for every received ACK. A timeout while at this state would reset CWND to one and restart the slow start from the beginning. When the congestion window reaches the slow start threshold value, the state will change to congestion avoidance. In this state, for each new ACK, the window size will increase only mildly. To reach an increase of 1 MSS per RTT, we can divide MSS by window size and only add that portion of MSS for each ACK. If a timeout happens in congestion avoidance state, CWND is reset to 1 and SS threshold is set to the half of window size when the congestion experienced and the state is changed back to slow start. If triple duplicate acts happen, which is a milder indicator of congestion, the state is changed to fast recovery. Fast recovery is the state employed by some of TCP implementations like TCP Reno. Arrival of new ACK in the fast recovery state will result in going back to congestion avoidance while setting the window size to SS threshold value. Otherwise, during fast recovery state, congestion window keeps increasing for incoming duplicate ACKs until it reaches 3. This will indicate another triple duplicate ACK which would result in setting SS threshold to the half of congestion window size, setting the congestion window size to this new value of SS threshold plus three and going to slow start state. Timeout event in any of the states will cause CWND equals one, SS threshold being set to half of CWND value and going back to slow start. Knowing the mechanisms implemented by TCP in more detail, let's now re-examine TCP throughput. First, adding a simplifying condition. Let's ignore a slow start and assume sender always has data to send. The average TCP throughput in this scenario will keep changing between full window size and half the window size. And that is due to usage of AIMD mechanism. TCP throughput will be 3 fourths of the window size divided by RTT, and that is in bytes per second.